So you got the rank function. So rank function will give none sequential ranking and it will leave gaps between group. And about the dance rank function, so this function will assign sequential or value or unique value to each distinct row. And it will, it will not leave gaps between the group. So right here I am using the table dbt number. And here this is the records inside the dbt table. And here I have already created rank and dance rank query to save some time. So at here this time I am using rank on order by salary and here I am using partition by order by sal. So let's understand this query. So at here select. So select at here I selected EMP number, ename, DPT number and here sal. So whatever you call him like you can select at here. But here so the most important columns are sal and DPT number. So because sal at here I'm going to apply rank on sal column. So at here rank function. So over my clause that I already discussed in my uh, previous videos. So please check there. So at here order by sal. And here so if you don't give DESC so by default so by default it's a uh, so order by is an ascending order. So let's execute this query here. So see at here by default it's an order. So I've created rank on cell column. So at here 800 first. So at here ascending order means lowest to highest. So 800 first, second, 950, 1100, and here 1250. So at here. Oh, when the value reach on 1250, so rank created 44. Here in dance rank created as the 45. But after 1250, when that reach on 1300, so see and here, uh, it's a create one gap. So it should be here, uh, at here it's a displaying 6. But in dance rank function, it's a 4 to 5. So this is the one key difference between rank and dance rank function. So at here, or uh, rank function lifts gaps between the numbers, between the rank. And here, dance rank function won't leave any gap. So 4 to 5, it's uh, here, but here 4 to 6. So wherever that found any or uh, duplicate values in the columns, and if you are applying rank and dance rank function on that column, so at here, duplicate value that count 4, 4, at here it's a counting 4 4 but after that that leaves the gaps so rank function leaves the gaps but here dance rank function it won't leave any gaps so this is the one key important point and here uh, or here you can also apply dsc and here dsc so dsc then at here the highest salary will display first then lowest so at here 5000 is the highest salary, it's the rank 1, 3000 is the second highest salary, so at here rank 2, rank 2, but at here see, uh, when that to reach on third highest salary, so for third highest salary on here, so it is a 2975, but it's giving rank 4, but here dance rank 3, so a rank function that lifts the gaps. And here, this is not in sequence order. So at here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so it's, a, huh? it's in sequence order. So see at here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So whenever that font or uh, any or uh, duplicate value, so see 1250 is the duplicate value. So at here 9, 10, so 1250, so that for 10 here, that for 10. So 10 after that so is now continue the sequence. But at here, when that for rank function font duplicate value, so at here 11, so at here 11, so it's okay. But after that, it's not in sequence order, so that uh, here after 11, then create the gaps, then now here it's a 30. So this is the difference between rank and dance rank function. So at here, uh, I already discussed order by clause. So if you are using over and here, it if you want give any order by so it's it will give the error so that means at here you must 
have to give order by clause then there won't be any error and here about to uh, uh, this is this part so it, it, it's a, a a column alias so if you execute this query so see at here so if you won't give anything so at here it will display no column so this is the column alias so so this uh, the place of this on so at here you have to give column alias r and k whatever you like So rank here and here this is the column alias and about the overby clause I already discussed in previous video video please check there and you have to have created one more query so with rank function you can also use partition by so what partition will that do so partition by clause is used to break the data so break the data whenever that found any duplicate value in any column so according to given the columns that break the data so let's execute this query first so at here this is the uh, records of dpt 10 so dpt 10 so that uh, dpt number 10 partition by i have given partition by dpt number so at here dpt number 10 so it's the price tab so that create uh, that break or uh, uh, dpt 10 in one group 20 in another group and here after 13 one another group so after that that create the rank and dance rank so partition by so add here or rank is 1 to 3 it's fine so add here dance rank 1 to 3 and here after this is the another breakpoint for 20 so 20 this is for 20 now here rank is 1 here 1 so see at here 3000 rank for 1 and 1 here 2975 is the second highest salary so at here rank created 3 and here 2 so how that happens so that uh, rank function at 1 by 1 so like uh, 1 here after 1 and here after 1 so that's good that's adding the value by 1 by 1 so see at 1 and here 1 so here 1 1 so it's the uh, same uh, columns are duplicate so that here it's a 1 1 here after that add Two. so here after 2 and here after here this is 1 here 1 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 1 5 5 plus 1 6 so these are things but add here dance rank function 1 here after 1 so it won't add continuously so 1 after that 2 3 4 5 so whenever that want any duplicate value so that won't add anything so these are the things about the rank and dance rank function so partition by clause is the optional part here so here optional part so it's all depend on you so if you're going to find highest salary according to department wise so by using dance rank function you can easily figure out so see at here or uh, dpd 10 has uh, this so use at here where clause and here after if you give rank so rank 2 so that give 2450 is the second highest value. Dance rank that also give 245 is the second highest value. But if you go at here, DPT or, or 20. So this for this is for DPT 20. So at your rank is the uh, 1, 1. So if you if you want to find out second highest salary on DPT 20. So second highest salary, so you have to give the rank or dance rank to. So at here, if you give to then that give you a uh, perfect output 2975 is the second highest salary in the group but if you give at your rank so at your it's a uh, giving three so three is the not the uh, second highest salary so so to find the highest salary in the group so you have to give you have to use dance rank function so by using dance rank function you can easily find out second highest salary third highest salary so at your see 3000 is the first highest after that 2975 here after third highest 1560 if you want to check fourth highest salary so use dance rank function here use where clause here, here after dance rank and give the equal to 4 so that give fourth highest salary in the uh, 20 dp number 20 so this is the things about rank and dance rank function Function return the sequence number. 
sequence number like uh, that start from 1 2 3 4 so on so that uh, uh, that add by 1 so add here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so this will continue and here up to uh, a sequence number and concerned with a particular partition group and each partition group first row start with 1 so the value start from 1 so at here I am using the table in escort.emp table and here this is the record inside to here escort.emp table and here this query I already written so this at here I have given row number function rank and dance rank function at here so this column I selected from escort.emp table emp number ename and here after dpt number and sign column so I applied to, uh, row number on SAN columns and here rank on SAN here dance rank on SAN. So let's execute this query. So add here it's so th uh, three row is created. So row is for row number rank RNK for rank and here this is for dance rank. So add here I have created row number on SAN columns. So add here SAN column is a descending order means the highest to lowest so 5000 is the highest here after 3000 so let's just check the difference among row rank and dance rank so and here so and here uh, row number is starting from 1 so here after that the so add so next is 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 20 13 14 15 so total 15 rows are there so that here yeah, it's the uh, start from 1 and till uh, that uh, 15 and here rank is uh, start from 1 so here yeah, that is start from 1 here after 2 so whenever rank function found any duplicate value so that gives rank or 2 so the same value so at here 3000 is the duplicate here and here so that here yeah, it's uh, giving only 2 so the same with at here dance rank function so dance rank also give the same value so if any found any duplicate value so that give the uh, same value so at here 2 is for 3000 here this for also 2 so at here rank function so this leave the group so after giving auto or uh, means uh, after if they whenever that want any duplicate value so that give to here after that to uh, leave uh, here after that gap that give the gap between the numbers so at here 3000 and 2975 so at here that given the gap so 2 here after 4 so how is the rank work so that is start from 1 here after that add so 2 here after this 4 here so this is the same co same uh, column here 3000 so that here it's so uh, 3 now here after that's for 4 here after 5 6 7 8 9 10 so whenever that found any uh, duplicate value so the rank is the same but here the uh, dance rank function so whenever that font the rank is the same but here or uh, that to uh, follow the sequence number sequence number like uh, that continue so no any caps in dance rank function so this is the things about row rank and dance rank so row number uh, so no matter here that font any duplicate value or unique value so here that is whenever uh, for every each row that the row value is the unique so add here 5000 unique value 1 3000 add here unique value 2 and here 3000 unique value 3 for 2975 the unique value 4 so row number so that leave unique value for each row and here after let's understand the query here so add here row number over by cross so with the uh, row number is used with over by cross and about the over by cross i already discussed in my previous video so please check there and here over by cross so over by cross must with have must be order by cross so without order by cross you get the error invalid column so this is the thing so uh, with over by cross and here it must be over order by so uh, row number here so no, row number start from one so that continue whenever the total rows or uh, win the end of rows and here uh, I applied row number in sad column so sad column here 1 2 3 4 here this is a descending order so if, if you want here you can use ascending order also so if you give ascending order if you don't give anything so by default it's a ascending order so see at here 15 13 so it's just to reverse now so at here check or uh, row number it's a uh, start from 1 2 3 4 so it's just a reverse in order here yeah. 
so this is the things about to row number so here yeah, this is the 800 so i got the ascending order so that is lowest to highest so 800 is the lowest to here after 950 1100 so that here row number start from 1 so this is the things so if you add here cut this one and let's execute this one so see at here now row number start from 1 so because of 2 it's so giving so it's so just reversing the order so if you execute so because of this 2 it's so reverse the order the order of row now here after order by clause here sam so this the this is the column alias so this is the uh, necessary thing so if you don't give anything in a row uh, this part so this is the column alias so this will give the output but here it's a uh, no column name to give the column name so you here you have to give anything like uh, so here you have to give anything like row so now it will be okay so let's execute that one so it's so uh, here it's a uh, display row now here after with the row, fun row number function you can also give partition by clause so partition by clause is the optional part so partition by clause and overclass i already discussed in my previous video so please go through this and about the partition by clause so it break the data into uh, uh, it break the data and make uh, a division so at here i have given the partition by dpt number so it break the data on dpt 10 in one group 20 in one group 13 one group so if you execute uh, this query so see at here 10 for one group 20 for one group and 30 for one group and here i created the uh, rank row and dance rank in sand column so at here it's a 10 for one group so that you know it's the one two three and here one two three it's all giving the same output so when that one any duplicate value so rank and so at here in 20 so here that font duplicate value so 3000 is the duplicate value so rank uh, give the here 1 1 so this the duplicate value it's a uh, returning here tens rank also returning duplicate value but row number give uh, unique value for each row so 3000 for with that to count 1 here 3002 3 so 3 4 5 6 like that country but here if for that form 3000 so this rank is 1 here 1 but here uh, this is 2975 so here after that leave the group here 1 1 here after 3 so here dance rank 1 2 3 so this is the thing about rank dance rank and row function so why do we need the next point is why do we need to row function so if you want to you know, delete to some columns from uh, here like 7839 and if you don't no not call if you want to delete any row so give a uh, row number so because the row number is the unique value for each column so by using a uh, row number function you can easily delete so let's see here yeah. so this time that's the uh, i'm going to use the table time point so select uh, a star from tab one now let's execute and here after let's give order by answer so order by that order by at here emt number so this is the record inside to here in our tab one column now here after let's the use or uh, at here or select and here I am selecting EMP number and here after E name and here after gender ID now here after let's use row number function row number function so it has no any parameter and here after let's use over clause and order by order by and here mp number and here let's give uh, column alias row and here from table tab 1 so if you execute this query 
so add here on or EMP number so that create flow number so this is uh, 7499 so for each and every row so row number add here distinct and unique values now here after if you want to delete to 7499 so here so since uh, this all are unique so add here directly use or uh, here delete from and give the where clause and here give the row one so directly that will delete it so add here let's so or i'm going to delete so m499 record so add here use with clause and here e give the uh, table name empl and here open bracket and here after close bracket now here after here after let's use delete delete from e m p m e m p so where row equal to 1 so when that font row equal to 1 so at row equal to 1 the value is 749 and rm so that will be updated so date from here so let's execute this query so i'm getting the error messages uh, with emp and here let's use as so this is for alias now let's execute one more time so see at your window affected and if you want to check the record so order by 7.99 it's a deleted from the table so this is why we use the row number function to delete the records because row number gives a unique value for each row so it's it's a very easy to delete the records here yeah. so this is the things about row number and uh, dance rank and rank function so it's a work on all, all function work always the same but this have it has some uh, some important difference row number give sequence number and unique values for each row and here rank that to give and here oh, 4 1 2 3 4 like start from 1 2 3 continue so whenever that found any duplicate value so that create the rank the same rank value so but here it give so it to create the gaps between two numbers but tanks rank won't give any gap so this is the definition that i already written so you want the entire function it splits the rows into pre-specified number of groups and the first group number start with 1 and the next group number start with 2 and third group number start with 3 so at here i am using the table escort.emp table and here this is the record insert or uh, escort.emp table and here order by dpt number now here after in my last video i already discussed about row number rank dance rank function so please go through that one so let's copy and here paste that query and here after it's not required rank and dance rank And in place of uh, row number, I am going to use entire entire function. Now here after give a uh, column alias the name E and P I L E. So whatever you like. And here after this is not required. So about to uh, partition by with entire function, I will discuss later. Now here after. If you execute this code, so at here I am getting the error message. The error message is the function entire takes exactly one argument. So you must have to give one argument there. So at here I am giving argument to. So see at here error on. Now if you execute this query, so see at here or uh, from escort.emp. So, add here the four row selected EMP number, E name, DPT number, and SAM. And extra columns are for E and TI array. So, this is for 
that one. Now here after, so EMP number E name is not essential. So here and here DPT number and that is the essential columns. So I am doing a entire 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 function on cell column. So let's execute here. So I am doing the entire function on cell column. So at your total numbers of rows, first you have to count. So at your total numbers of rows are 15. 15 and here I am using entire 2. So 2 parameters that means that create 2 group. Okay, 2 groups. So that so at here the definition is the group is start with 1. So that is start with 1 and here so that create 2 groups. So the possibility of 2 group creating is the first what is possibility is 8 to 7 and the second possibility is 7 to 8. So by using entire function that first that creates highest number of group. So see at here. Uh, so let's go through here. Yeah. So see at here 8. So 8. So 1 is till 8 and here after 2 second group 2 is uh, 9 to 14. So this is the first possibility that accept highest uh, group number that comes first. Now if you give at here 3. So give you give at here 3. Now if you execute this query. So at here that create 3 groups. So 3 groups on 14 rows. So the possibility is. So first is here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the possibility at here it is creating group 5 and here after 5. And here after 5 plus 5 and here 4. So 3 group it is created here. So see at here it is here 5. And here after next is this 2 is for 5, 5 plus 5, 10 and here 3. So at your total numbers I think 15. So that here it is the possibility is 5, 5, 5. So each row has the given 5, 5, 5 group. Now if you give at your 4. So at your that create the 4 group. So four group add here. So add here if you divide by fifteen by four. Fifteen by four. Uh, so you divide by three times. So add here that create fourth group. So add here. Uh, the first possibility is four. Next is four. And here after four. So total is uh, add here twelve. Now here after next is three. So that create three or uh, four group and here see one is four times and here two is uh, four times and here three is four times and here four is four uh, three times. So here now if this is equal to 15. Like that you can change at here five. So if you give five then there that create five group for that column. So at here simply this is the uh, 5 cross means so 3 3 3 into 3 3 so at here uh, uh, 1 for 3 2 for 3 3 for 3 4 for 3 and here 5 for 3 so this is the things about entire function so that create the groups and the group is start with 1 next is second here after third fourth like that that continue now here after you can use partition by clause inside entire function so at here over by clause I already discussed in my previous video. So please go through this. So at here partition by. So partition by used to par, uh, divide the data. So I have given the partition by on dpt number. So when, whenever also uh, that make a dpt number in group. So at here dpt 10 in one group, 20 in one group, 13 group, one group. So at here I have uh, this the entire function so that create five group. So at here 10, the possibility of 10 it's only 3 times so that create 3 and here, here 20 is the uh, 6 times so see at here 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 so at here uh, uh, the possibility is only uh, say 1 into 1 so at here in 20 the total numbers of rows are 6 and here the possibility is 1 and here after 5. So 1 plus 5 that is 6. So let's give at here 2. So 
So I have given that to you. Now it will execute this query. So at here the possibility of uh, deputy 10. So here 10 that is one uh, that is in one group. So the partition by is used to uh, divide the data. Uh, so at here 10 is one group make 20 is one group 13 one group. So at here 10 has uh, uh, three rows. So three rows the possibility of uh, at here that create two groups in three in or uh, dbt so that create two groups the possibility is one here one and here two and here after 20 dbt 20 so 20 is uh, uh, six times so six times at here so that create two or uh, at here two group so simple is of uh, at here so one uh, three times two three times so one at here three times and here two three times and here about to 30 30 is also six times so at here one two three four five six so that's so six times so at here six by two so at here that create two groups so at here that divide by three three times so one is three times two is three times so this is the entire function in microsoft sql server management studio so entire function is split the rows into pre-specified number of groups and the number of group is start with one and like that continue and here i'm using escort.emp table and here this is the record inside escort.emp table so and here let's write the query of first value function so and here select and here selecting emp number and here after selecting e name now here after or uh, dpt number and next third column and uh, here after let's write uh, post underscore value so this is the you know, built in function and here it accept only one parameter so i am going to pass the pa uh, parameter the column name is Add here e name. Add here first underscore value. So expression. So ex expression you have to pass any column name, and that return integer value. Now here after close that one, and here after that write over clause. So about the over clause I already discussed in my previous video. So add here or order by stand column, and this is descending order. And here after give the column alias name first underscore name and here from escort dot emp table so this table i'm going to use and here let's execute the code first so i have the first value so first value that return a first row from the table so see here i'm passing the first and here so first value so e name and here E name is the name of uh, first row name e name is the king so at here it's a first name it's a displaying king 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 and here after over by clause so over by clause is used to order any order giving the setting the order of columns so at here sand columns it's now in descending order so here descending order that means highest sand that to display first thereafter uh, highest to lowest so highest salary at here here after lowest so this is the things and uh, here so enum is the in enum the first name of the row is king so that here it's all displaying king now here after if you pass any parameter so if i'm going to give two parameter emp number so if you execute this query so at here i'm getting the error message first value function require one argument so at here you have you can give only one argument here. So you can write at your EMP number also. So any column select, but it must be one. Now let's execute the so C at here 7 at 39. So at here this is the first. So at here in first here it's all done displaying 7 at 39. And here so the sanding. So according to our uh, 
or sad is in descending order so that display highest to lowest now you can change also so if you want to give add a star in DSC so by default it's in ascending order so lower to uh, lower to uh, small, lower to highest so right here 7369 is the first uh, row and here MP number so that here it's uh, all displaying 7369 so this is the things about the uh, first value so here you can change the name also e name so that display the first name of the implant first row of the implant now the next thing here you can also apply partition by clause So according to department number wise, uh, you can uh, uh, display first employee name. So I have right uh, partition by deputy number. Now if you execute this query, so see right here, it's a partition on deputy 10 in one group. So I right have in 10 the first or where is mirror the first name is mirror so add here it's the display mirror here the first name is smith so it's all displaying smith now in 30 the first name is james so add here it's all on displaying james so this is the things about the first value and here after the next is last value so let's copy here this code And here one more point, partition by is the optional in first value function. So let's give at here last value function. Let's write last. Now let's execute the code. So here, so at here I'm uh, here. Let's give at here meaningful name. Last name. Now if you execute here this query, so add here in this record, so add here the last name is king, but here it's all our day, I'm getting the unexpected output. So add here, uh, how's the query work? So select EMP number, ENM, DPT number, SAM, so it's three, oh sorry, four columns selected, here after last name, so it's uh, uh, in place of this here. So in here last value ename. So in ename and over by order by sad. So here it's the lowest to highest. So add here in ename add here. So whatever the things is add here the range. Add here the range as start from unbounded. Unbounded pro proceeding. current row so add here it's a range add here the start from unbounded proceeding so add here the, this is a start from here and that end from the current row so so that here it's a displaying as made so add here that start from here and here so that end with this columns so that here it's a uh, displaying champs so add here it's a start from Adams so adds end with Adams now here after that is start from what? So add here is a sand columns 1250 is the duplicate. So that here it's a start from here but ends from Martin. So that it's the display Martin Martin to a stand. And here uh, add here um, uh, Miller. So a start from Miller and that end from Miller. And here after there is the one more thing. So see at here, one duplicate uh, row is there, or uh, 3000, 3000, so it's a duplicate. So that here, it's a start from here, on bounded proceeding, a start from escort, and here. So since the salary is a duplicate, so that here, it ends from this. So at so that here, the name is displaying for form. So at here, I'm, I want to display the last name of the records, or last row of the records. So for this we have to include something, some points add here. So order by and here after let's use add here. Uh, 
rows and here after use write at a between operator and between unbounded unbounded preceding and here and unbounded right so that means uh, that uh, start from this point and that check till the end so let's execute this code so see at here that's our uh, start from here so last value so that is start from uh, first row and that check from here so in last so last value function this return last value or uh, uh, insert the records so right here the king is the last so that here in last then it's all are displaying king so now i am getting the expected output so in place of enum you can change at here emp number and so so let's execute here so here 736 now so that will start from here unbounded proceeding so that is start from here first row and that check from the till end so 7839 so at here last value function that return last row so at here it's a returning 7839 so now i am getting the expected output now from here you can also use partition by cross so let's write partition by dpt number now if you execute this code so taining one partition so this is a one part partition so at here in or this partition the last or uh, at here last emp number is 7839 so that here it's a display 7839 now for 20 the last is 7902 uh, so that here it's a display 7902 and here this is a 7698 is the last emp number so that here it's giving 7 s698 so it gives the next column values based on ordering so let's see the examples so at here select and here up to i'm using the table escort.dpt and this is the record inside the table and here is the three columns so at here first i am going to select the column dpt number and here after t name and in last row and here let's use lead function so about the lead function so it's a built in function lead so it has a uh, uh, three parameter expression offset default and it returns integer and your expression so this is the essential and this two are uh, option so at here let's uh, use date and here after so expression so in expression you have to give any columns so at here i'm going to give log so i'm going to apply lead functioning log column now here after let's use over cross and here i'm going to give order by so giving the order by on dpt number so dpt number already in order by but we have to give order by there now here after let's use from cross and here also uh, my table is escort.dpt escort.dpt is my table so if you execute this query so see at here uh, this is the original a uh, log column records so after applying lead function on log so see at here also uh, it give next so the first value is new york and next value is dallas so it is start from dallas so this the things or uh, lead function gives next column values based on ordering so this is the order here 
order in t bit number and it gives next column next column patterns so at here it's a no column name so let's give the name at the column so i am giving city so at here the city the name and here or uh, i have applied a lead function on lock column so that here it uh, or returning next column so it is start from the next column values now our uh, add a lead function has a uh, uh, three parameter so let's uh, give add here so by default it's or uh, it or uh, the parameter add here if you did not give any parameter so by default it's one so if you exit the same output will come add here so if you give add here to you so the next value is start from after to so at here after two so at here first is new second is Dallas and here see after two so here the Chicago Boston and here you can give at here three also so this uh, the row value start from three so after three that is start from so this is the things if you give at here so total numbers of rows are seven so if you give at here seven so all the values say it none so it's all value is now say it none now let's give at here two and here in place of null i want some or uh, integer value so add here the lead function so it accept to three parameters so let's give at here zero so in place of null, the value comes 0. See at here, it's the 0, it's coming. So or you can write at here any string value. So at here, I'm going to enter Manchester. So either you can give any integer or you can enter as a string. So see at here, it's a display Manchester, Manchester. So these are the things about the lit function. So at here, and now at here, uh, uh, lead function has the uh, over by over cross and here order by number. So if you remove this, so let's cut and here after if you execute. So see at here, I am getting the error message. So at here, the message is did must have an order by cross. So if you are using lead function, so there must be an order by cross. So what the order by cross? So it is used to determine which rows from the query are applied to the function and what order they are evaluated in the in by the function. So what order? So this is the thing about order by cross. So what the order by cross I will discuss in my next video in detail. Right? And here after in order by cross, you must have to give order by. So if you execute the query, so see at here the error, it's a red color, it's appear. So if you execute, so at here the syntax error. So at here over by clause and insert you must give order by. So it must be order by. After that error count. So order by you can give any uh, column. So at here I'm using deputy number. So at here you can give any column like go or D name. Or if you want, then here you can give uh, DNAM and here after you can give uh, look also. So see at here, the order is now uh, on DNAM. So at here, according ACI, so this is the things. And here, so lead function uh, that gives the output uh, from the next column values. So this is the first column. So here the next column values. So if you give at it to so after two that give. So at here the first position New York, second position uh, Brisbane. So after two. So after two is the three. So three position is cardium. So that I start from the cardium. So this is the things about to lead function in Microsoft SQL Server. So at here, uh, so at here the next function is lag function. So at here the lead function give the next values from the next column 
and here the late function give the value from the previous column so if let's give add here late and here after or uh, let's change something here so i'm giving one and if you execute the query so see at here the first value is the at here new york so here uh, about the leg function previous value so it gives the previous column values so at here the previous column value is no null so there is nothing previous in new york or uh, above new york there are no any things so that here it's the giving null and if you give at here two so the two previous values is double null so see at here double double null so this is the things about the or uh, add here lead and lake function and here you can give any or uh, integer value like if you wanna give at here 0 or minus 1 so you can also enter so in place of null the value appear minus 1 so see at here so appear minus 1 or if you enter any city name so you can also enter so add here let's enter the city Paris so in place of minus one, minus one, so the uh, the value come Paris, Paris. So this is the things about the lead and leg function in Microsoft SQL Server Manager. ID, and you have to going to select name, and you have to going to select D O B. So these three columns are selected. Now here after let's use a stuff function. So I'm going to apply the stuff function on location here or at location column. So distinct and here after let's give comma and here plus for concatenation. Let's give location. Now here after from employee. A and P L O Y employee. So at here let's skip the uh, table alias studio. Now here after where clause. So at here or uh, T2 dot. So I will select ID to compare here after T1. So T1 dot ID. Now here after let's skip for XML. XML and here XML let's give path and here a uh, single code single code and here a uh, close and here comma one comma one and here after single code here yeah. now let's give the alias as call now from here or uh, give the table name from or employee and give the alias t1 and here let's give group by and here or id going to make group here after name in form group here after or d o d in one group so if you execute to this all here so I'm getting the expected output, New York, New Jersey, here yeah, New York, it's all on expected output. So this is the things. So let's understand how the query work. So I just select ID, name, DOB. So this is the order query. So first I'm going to make one part of order query. So add here, this is the order query part. Here select from, so here, yeah, this is the order query part so here order query part so if you execute to this order query so you will get the output this form so add your first to that select id name dob from t1 and your group by that making uh, here id name so that here all the duplicate records animated by using group by and here this is the inner query so if you execute this inner query so i'm getting this output so if you want to add here id so you can do that 
So if you add script to send query, so see here the ID is displaying. So let's so copy here this format. Now if you execute this two query, so see add here. So add here and applying add here where clause t2 dot id so t2 dot so this t2 is the inner query part so t2 dot id so when that font one add here so one this value one is trying to uh, make the condition so i did t2 dot id value is one here t1 dot id value is one so this value is one and here after for xml path so about the xml path i will discuss in my later video here if I'm going to uh, so uh, see at here one one applied so one here or uh, this the I applied to location on California so at here one part is is now California second so apply one for one so this is now at here New Jersey and here next is North Carolina and you have to like that to uh, or that to compare three columns at here three. So three is in one group here three three. So three is for at here California and two for here Oklahoma. So like that to that to make or uh, that to match the condition if condition is matched in for XML. So let's see about the for XML also. So about the for XML, let's the right to simple query select and here or uh, single code and here or uh, location. So location column going to use here or uh, from employee table. So employee table here after or uh, for XML. For XML add here cross here cross single cut single cut. Now if you execute to this query. So for XML here, I forget to give path. So let's execute now. So what output I'm getting? So see at here, I'm getting this output. So this is the output I'm getting here. So if you execute this query, so this query is now this format. Add here, this format. And if you execute for XML, so for XML now converted into this format. So that here, if you uh, miss id id match okay so id for add here uh, this is the id so add here uh, that make one group so add here inner query and outer query that make in one group uh, so that uh, if you execute here or uh, this audio query so here see so new jersey here this is a uh, new jersey or uh, new york north carolina so that in one group and after applying this for XML, so for XML, uh, the use of for XML, so whatever this value that uh, are getting from here, so this is the ID of one, okay, this is the ID of one, this is the ID of two, this is the ID of three, so one uh, employee ID one, so this now converted into the one uh, at this format, so this is the part of uh, at here employee ID one, and here this is the part of employee ID two employee. So when I am using where clause, so where clause is the filter. So first uh, uh, that uh, display employee id. So id1 values here and that apply xml. Here after id2, here apply xml and here uh, id3, then that apply xml. So this is the use of xml. So whenever that font this value, so this value is now converted into there. So in XML, you uh, it's not necessary. Especially if you don't give for uh, at here bracket, so see at here what I'm getting. So at here row. So first to uh, at this part, let's give at here. Let's eliminate here this part. Okay. So if you execute this query, so see at here this is the one row one part. Okay. It's the row one part. Let's make that bigger. So this is the all our row one part. So add your row one part. So add here the condition is or t2 dot so t2 dot here or id and t1 dot id. So one one match then here is the output of one part and this is the output of two part row id two and here uh, add here row id three part. 
so this is the use of xml and this is the use of xml or uh, stop function in microsoft so stop function is here so till this this is the s string here a start sorry till this a stop function so this is the s string here this is the s start here length and here add a string or uh, uh, a space okay not a space blank something so if you execute here so that here it's a display this now if you give out your bracket bracket and inside bracket must be some no this is in right format execute that okay no any space in path no any space so see out here getting the expected output so id is now one per place and here id2 is the now second id1 is one part id2 is in one part id3 is the one part so execute this query so see out here now that combined idea d match so now win that font or uh, idea d match jersey new york north Korea. so this is match so that display at this place and here for three california this place and uh, for two um, oklahoma this place so this is the things about stuff functioning microsoft sql server management studio so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you